This is Snoot. He is our four-year-old Whippet, and this is a video all about him capturing him at this point in time. I could just play some music over these clips, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to answer your hard-hitting questions about Snoot. Like, how does he feel about Mexican tariffs and Alabama's abortion laws? Just kidding, he knows better than to talk about politics. No, there are questions like, where does he like to be pet? And the answer is everywhere. What's his favorite toy? Well, he's got plenty to choose from. You'd probably trip on dog toys while walking through our apartment. His favorite used to be this giraffe toy that has nine squeakers in it, but now it's this elephant with nine squeakers. It's just less drenched in saliva. I saw this photo from Ali Wong. She washed her child's toy, and I think that's what washing Snoot's toys would look like. Snoot also really likes tug of war, and he's pretty strong. Like, this is me trying. Although I think that says more about me than Snoot. What tricks does he know? Um, he can catch food and toys in his mouth? I don't personally teach Snoot a lot of tricks. I just think it's kind of weird, like he's an animal, to show off that I've properly domesticated. But for safety reasons, he knows sit and comes when I call him or snap my fingers. Kay's gonna be like, what? He knows way more tricks than that but he knows sleep the best. What are his favorite places? Well, there's the couch and his bed and his crate and our bed. And I guess he also likes the dog park. How fast can Snoot run? Whenever we take him to the dog park, people are always so shocked at how fast he is, but I can't actually measure that. So I just looked online, and it says that a Whippet can run up to 35 miles per hour, and in comparison, a Greyhound can run 45 miles per hour and a Cheetah 70. How does he behave around other dogs? I've seen some dogs, <laughs> Nikki, that like whine and go crazy when they see another dog, so I'm pretty glad that Snoot doesn't do that. When we walk him around the apartment complex, he usually doesn't care if there are other dogs. He's very particular in which dogs that he will want to meet, and he'll start like whining and whimpering, but that's like very rare. So if he does do that with a dog, I don't know, like, that dog must be really special. Someone asked, do you think he'd scare away burglars? And a lot of Whippet guides say, if you want a dog that's gonna guard your home, your kids, and your Wi-Fi, you should not get a Whippet because they're not gonna do anything. But when we were getting our apartment renovated, someone was knocking at our door and none of us had woken up and Snoot started barking. So I think he might actually do a good job. Does he wait at the door when you leave? He does, and it's so sweet, he'll wait like upwards of 20 minutes but also kind of sad because just live your life. Does he know when dinner time is? No, we're not very strict on this. We usually give him food before we go to sleep and that could be 11 p.m. or 3 a.m. But he never begs for it, which is really nice. He does sometimes beg for human food, like when we're making dinner. So we try not to give him any human food to kind of discourage that behavior. What is his favorite food? So we'll give him dental chews, which he really likes, and also pig ears. He loves pig ears. He is extremely protective over his pig ear and he won't let you touch it. And he'll often hide it in his blankets and in his crate and any crevices he can get it in. It's so cute. Sometimes he gets frustrated when he's digging into his blankets and he can't cover it up. Has he ever pooped inside? He has not since I moved in. He has in the past when you don't take him out fast enough in the morning. In fact, he's been a very good boy. He hasn't destroyed any of my things. What's his sleeping habits? Do you guys lock him up or does he sleep on your bed? I love sharing our bed with Snoot. He does sprawl out and become a bed hog sometimes. I'll wake up and he's just like all over the bed and I have like nowhere to put my legs. But other times he curls up in a ball and sleeps on your pillow. 
And it's just like a cute little hot water bottle. What does Snoot love? He loves your classic dog things like being pet, being rubbed, any physical contact, like you just holding his foot. In fact, he loves being pet so much, sometimes he gets a little aggressive and will move your hand with his nose to get pets. Whippets also love to chase squirrels, and Snoo is no exception. He gets so excited to go outside, or even when you're putting on your socks, he's like, it's time to go outside. He also loves the sunlight. He'll lay down in a sunny spot until he's like panting, and then I will try to move him to a shadier spot, and two minutes later, I look over and he's back in the same spot. He just loves being in the sun. On the other hand, what does Snoot hate? He hates when we leave. He'll start whining as if he's never gonna see us again. I would say that's the main thing he hates. What sounds does he make and when does he make them? Sometimes he'll groan in his sleep and sometimes he'll yelp when he's dreaming. He also barks when Kay pretends to attack me just to see if he'll bark. So living with Snoot is a gift. He is so soft both physically and in the heart. <laughs> but honestly, I love hanging out with Snoot. He will come to me in whatever room I'm in just to hang out and sit right next to me while I'm watching TV or reading or doing whatever. He is the sweetest. Thank you guys for all your questions and I hope you learned a little bit more about Snoot. It's just 10